Hi, I'm George Pearson, and in this review video, I'll be looking at the Color Manipulation Program 3D LUT Creator Pro, which is a phenomenal program for controlling and working with color in your photographs. And if you enjoy this video, make sure you click the like button and also, of course, share. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any videos in the future. And if you want to find out more about the courses that I teach, take a look at my training. You'll find that up in the upper right hand corner up there. All right, let's get to it. As I mentioned in the intro, 3D LUT Creator Pro is a color grading, color manipulation tool. And it's very, very powerful and fascinating on how this actually works. Now, it does have all your standard stuff right down here, you know, your temp, tint, brightness, contrast, saturation, all that stuff is right down here. We have blacks and white control down here. It's all of your usual and expected controls. We also have curve controls in here, so you can do your standard luminance, saturation, luminance, luminance, saturation controls, red, green, blue. Everything you would expect to have in a normal program is available in here as well. What makes this really stand out is the grid. Now there are two ways of looking at this. One is just a straight grid like that. The other one is this interesting web grid. Now this does two things for you. And this shows you some of the power of what the 3D Let Creator Pro can do. I can only show you a little bit of what this does. I could spend hours talking about this program. It's a very, very powerful program. But this gives you a good little idea. Now notice here we have the color wheel around this. You know, here's your blues right down there moving into your magentas and your reds. Your yellows are getting up into here to your greens and so forth. There's your cyans down there. So it's a complete color wheel. Out at the edge out here, everything is full saturation. And in towards the center, you have very low saturation. So you have your saturation going in and out this way. And then you have your colors around the outside. Also, if you look in here, you have these kind of white splotches. This is showing you where the color distribution is in your image. Now, obviously here, her shirt is red. You can see here's our reds. And right there, there's a bright bit of red. So that's where her reds are showing up. There's some other, you can see a little kind of real faint whiteness in here. So there's red stuff around. Of course, there's going to be some of that in, it's in her skin. Some of that is in the ground down here. Here's a section in here. This is in the red-yellow range, and that's going to be your sand down below. And then here we have the blues, which of course will be the sky, the water, and her blue jeans. So you can easily see where the colors are. Now to work with this, let me just do a quick easy one here. I'll just do a color change on her shirt. Now what I want to have is to have the colors that I need, this is those reds right in here, lining up with one of these dots as close as possible. These are the control handles for this program. And I can do that by changing the size in here. I can go up here to 16. And those come right between two dots right there. So now it's on that line. Once I have those dots, I can then click on one, hold the control key down, click on the second one. So I now have the two dots on both sides of that red selected. I can now come down below here. I have my hue right there, my saturation here, luminance in here. I can control how the luminance is controlled or adjusted, gamma, multiply, add, or compress. I'll leave all that as is. Let's go over here to the hue, and I'm going to grab and scroll back and forth, and notice how it actually swings those dots around the color wheel and changes the shirt. Here's the whole shirt color. So I want a little more blue in there, just a touch like that. So now I go to the saturation and I'll pull the saturation back and I can tone down the saturation and make a real nice, realistic looking color correction just on the colors that were in that shirt because they were pretty well separated right there. And if you have colors that are close together, you can always change this to a finer grid and that will then help you spot additional colors. Notice how this has now split this off into two different sections. The colors kind of split the colors up. And it allows you, again, to more fine-tune this. That's just one of the little tricks you can do in here with this program. Now, 3D LUT, that is a term which is used for color corrections mostly in the video realm. 
What this allows you to do is you can take a single frame of video, do your color corrections on that single frame, create a 3D LUT file, and then apply that to your whole video. That's one of the th things that you can do in Adobe's After Effects, for instance. You can take a 3D LUT file and apply it to a, a video clip inside of After Effects and color grade the whole clip that way. Very, very easy to do. Now the LUT stands for lookup table. So it's a 3D lookup table. The 3D part of this is just the way that the colors are being looked at. If I stacked this thing and I had my colors in here as one level of a cake and then my luminance values as the, a different level, you know, the up and down, luminous values in and out saturations and then colors around like that, you get an idea of how this you know why it's called 3D. It's just the way that the color values are approached. Now you can work with this over inside of Photoshop. You can actually link this program up to Photoshop very easily. This down here it says image from PS, that's from Photoshop, and then LUT to PS, that takes what I've done here over to Photoshop. Up on the file menu, come down here to preferences and integration. You can choose which version of Photoshop you're using from version CS6, which is the first version that included the 3D LUT lookup tables, down to the current version CC2018, and so it'll actually link up with that program. Just take a quick look at that. Look over here, I actually had that open, and here it is. Here's just a little picture I took out at a ghost town out in the desert out here. Nice little picture, nothing really dramatic about it. But we have these sunset colors in here because it was getting down close to sunset. You can see the shadows right here from the mountains showing up. So there's a lot of orange on this. Let's say I wanted to tone back those orange values, but nothing else. But I, I want you wanted to really modify the saturation levels of just the orange values in here. Very tricky to do here inside of Photoshop. I could find ways of approaching that, doing masks and stuff, but easy to do with that 3D LUT creator. Let's just go back over there to that program. Here we are. I'm going to come down here and do image from PS. There it is. Brings that in from PS. Let me just change the grid here. Reset that back to that and let's just undo everything. There we go. So back to our default grid. And here's this image brought in right from Photoshop. Now if you look at the grid in here, there's a bright spot right down here, and then a lot of colors in here, kind of desaturated colors down there, and then moving up here, more saturated, all in the reds, reds and browns. This is going to be the ground and stuff in the sky. And then a band right through here of very highly saturated colors. That's where the colors are coming in from the sunset. It's right in along that band. You can actually see it on this grid. Now I can try to get that to line up with dots just by changing the setting in here. It's not really doing it, it's staying between those, but that's okay, I can still work with that. One more thing, you can see exactly where this is showing up on your picture. If I hold the Alt key down and then click on one of these dots, it shows me a mask of where those values are showing up on the picture. See, there's mostly just the face of the building and the rocks right in there, which is what I expected. And there's some more of those, and over into the reds, we have some of those as well. Come down here to this white area in here. That's kind of the mid-tones for that. Now the blue stuff down here, that's going to be the sky. You can see it right there. So that's our sky colors happening down there. So let's see how we can control the saturation on this across this range of colors right there, those high saturated levels. I'm going to click on one of these dots. I'll hold the control key down and then I'll just click on the ones surrounding that particular range right in there. I can now come down to the saturation down here and then just scroll to the left. I'm holding the mouse button down right now. Scroll to the left and I can actually back off on the saturation values of just those values. And if you look at the picture over there, I'll go real bright like that and then I'll pull it back I'm just taking on the saturation, and what that does is it kind of gets rid of those sunset colors, leaves everything else exactly the same. You also can compare this kind of work by clicking on the compare button right there. I now have a left and right version. Here it is with the 
orange color is saturated, and here's with the saturation on those orange colors brought down. Notice how the ground really wasn't touched. Everything else looks the same. The sky wasn't touched. It's just those bright values in here that I've lowered the saturation on and brought down some of that sunset coloration. Now, once I finish my coloration in here, all I have to do is click on LUT to PS. It then takes that back over into Photoshop. And here's where it's real neat. This comes in as a new layer, just like that. So I can now hide or show the layer. I haven't done anything destructive here. So I can use this to control that amount. I can also tone down the amount of control because I have a mask and it's a layer. I can pull back on the opacity and control again just exactly how much of that adjustment is being applied to my image. Let's take a look at that layer. Notice the icon right there. That's the icon for the LUT file. And up here under the Adjustments tab, you'll see that right there. Color Lookup. So as I hover over that, it says Color Lookup. Here's where you can create new color lookup adjustment layers, and that's what this is. It's an adjustment layer right from that. Now, if I double click on this icon here, this brings up the properties dialog box inside of Photoshop. Notice it says 3D LUT file. This doesn't mean 3D LUT Creator Pro. This is just the standard 3D LUT file type. And there are a bunch that come with the program right here, a lot of things with the program. I can actually change what I just did to something else by using one of these other options, or Let's just close that down. I'll go up to Adjustments, click on this button here. It gives me a new layer right there, a new adjustment layer. Let's choose a different one here. I'm going to choose one. Let's see what we have here. Let's do a night from day. There it is. Notice how it recolorizes the whole image based upon the colors in that 3D LUT file. So not only does it allow you to do color adjustments like we have over here on an individual image, is the ability to save these adjustments, and you see the button right down there, Save 3D LUT right there, is the ability to save all these adjustments which allows you to use this on video. So once I've, I've taken one frame, saved my adjustments to a 3D LUT file, I can then apply that 3D LUT file to a whole video take and it applies to all of the frames in the video. So that's, that's why this is used in video quite a bit. But it's an amazingly powerful program as you can see. Again, I'm just scratching the surface in here on what this program can do. Let's go back over to your Photoshop again just for a little bit. I'm going to hide the adjustment I did there. That's one from 3D LUT Creator. Here's the one from the 3D LUT Lookup table, which is one of the ones that comes included with Photoshop. Kind of fun thing. And again, here's our desaturation of our sunset colors from 3D LUT Creator. Notice again that we have the mask in here, layer mask. So this allows you to mask out the effect even tighter if you want to. So I could come in here, I could just mask out just this building or just the rock in behind or the rocks in behind and use that adjustment just for those. You also can, if you want to, make a mask ahead of time make a selection and a mask ahead of time, and then bring that into 3D LUT Creator. It will then only work on the area that is masked, so you can use masks as well. It's just easier this way to do your mask after the fact on your control. You can use masks, again, to limit or control to a greater extent where the effect is being applied. Let's go back over here to the 3D LUT Creator again. Now, it's, it's an amazingly powerful program, as you can see here. This, again, is the a, B style grid, so our coloration. Here's another way to look at the coloration. As we're looking now at the green to magenta in here, and then cyan to yellow. And we have our lightness to darkness, top to bottom. So we're looking at hue and our color, and then lightness, top to bottom on this one. So again, different ways of looking at the color. We have our curves in here, luminance, saturation, coloration right down below here, our color luminance. We can look at 2D curves. So there's lots and lots of different ways of approaching your color depending upon what your color needs are. You're not stuck with just the basic grid, although this is my personal favorite, the easiest to use. So lots of things you can do. It's, again, an amazingly powerful tool and a great way for controlling the colors in your image. 
Now the only real downside of this program is that it is a relatively expensive program. It's about $250 for the pro version of this. There are a couple of lower versions that are less expensive, but they lose a lot of the features on those. So I really only look at the pro version of this. But if you're a professional photographer or a professional videographer, or even if you're just really serious about that and the price isn't that big of an issue for you, I would highly recommend giving this tool and playing around with it. Now you can get a free demo of this. You can play with it. It won't allow you to save your files, but you can see what it does and learn about how it works if you want to make that decision of whether or not you want to purchase that. And let's just take a look at their website again here. And that's right here. It's 3dletcreator.com. And I'm just going to scroll down through here. Right there, right at the very, very top of the page, there it is, Download Demo. So you actually can download a demo of this, play with it, see how it works. I think it's well worth your time to examine it. It's, it's a, a phenomenal program. I spent a while now playing with this thing, seeing exactly what it is that this does. And I can easily see how this should be one of the tools in your toolkit. Again, if you are a professional photographer or videographer, you want to have really fine control over the colors and values in your image. So there you go, let's say a look at 3D Let Creator Pro. Again, this is one of those programs I think is a phenomenal program and a, a must have if you're serious about working with color in your images. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com.